Alrighty, here we are, and this is a haul that I'm really excited for. Um, I watch a lot of other um, wax hauls on YouTube and stuff, and um, I've been seeing this name pop up a lot, so um, I'm really excited for this order. It's very, very small. As you can see, it's just a few things, but I like to do that for my very first order just to get a taste of what it's like. And then I can kind of go back and pick out some things. Sometimes I do little bigger ones if there's like a free shipping thing or whatever. But I wasn't worried about that with this one. So this is from Midnight Daydream. Um, and this is, from what I understand, owned by a man named Harrison. Um, and I got a couple of scent shots and a um, sampler bag. And then these are free samples, but all of this together cost me $27.83 and shipping was $8. So that's not too terrible. Um, so let me just get in here. Okay, so this is a free sample. It's really cute. It's really tiny. Um, but that's okay because I put all of my free samples into my really small bathroom warmer. I have one of those like plug-in bathroom warmers. And if I don't like it, then I don't care because it's in my bathroom. And my bathroom, thankfully, is big enough to give me an idea of how strong the throw will be. But I don't really have to smell it outside my bathroom if I don't like it. But if I do like it, then I can kind of gauge how strong it's going to be and how much I want to put it in one of my warmers in one of my bigger rooms, like my living room. This one says it's Orange Strudel Latte which is orange cream latte and baked strudel. Um, it does say it's a sample. It does say the pour date, so that's really nice. This was done on 3.30, so I'm gonna wait about three or four weeks before I melt it. It's very orange, which is nice. I like orange. I don't have a problem with orange. Um, I'm not getting so much of the baked strudel, but I think that'll probably come out on warm. And then this one, is Hypnose, which is creamy butter mints and birthday cake pops. Again, it says that it's a sample and it says the pour date, which I really like. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's very minty and creamy, almost like um, a candy cane or the, uh, like the peppermint brittle you get at Christmas. So that's nice. Um, my daughter will like that and so will my husband. The next thing I have, sorry, I was hearing a really weird noise. Um, it's called Baker's Choice. It's fresh baked bread, donut shopped, and baked cookies. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. So the pour wax is on the top here. So that's really easy to find. Oh, it's really nice. definitely get a lot of the fresh fresh break I can't talk fresh baked bread and then the cookies the donuts will probably come out stronger on warm but that's really nice so here's the pour date and this is a zucchini bakery zucchini bread bear claws butter brickle and vanilla bean noel I guess he doesn't color his wax. I have yet to have something that's colored, but that's okay. Oh, that's really nice. That is very vanilla-y and cinnamony. Vanilla-y? Is that a word? But it's very vanilla. And then cinnamony. And with the sweet of the butter brickle. Yeah, that's really, really nice. Okay. And then I'm a little bit of a geek, so I had to get the Gamer Night Sample. Okay, sorry, my husband wanted my attention for a minute. So anyway, yeah, I'm a little bit of a geek, so I got the Game Night Sampler. So let me get that open. Woo! They all kind of tried to come out at once. Alrighty, so I'm just going to start with the one that I have in my hand. 
Pour date, very nice. And this one is Uno. This is praline, pumpkin, zucchini bread, and sugar milk. Oh yeah, that's really nice. The zucchini bread and the praline make this really sweet, cinnamony, kind of caramely scent. Mm. And the sugar milk helps make it sweet. Yeah, that's really, really nice. I like that. This one is Monopoly, which is chocolate mousse pie, toasted marshmallow, and butter brickle. I'm not big on chocolate scents, um, but I don't have a lot of them either, so... Okay, it's a super light chocolate. I don't smell the butter brickle at all, which makes me a little sad, but that's okay. It'll probably come out on warm. And yeah, it's mostly the chocolate mousse pie with a little bit of sweet and creamy from the marshmallow. So not my favorite, but not terrible. Okay, and this one is Hungry Hungry Hippos. Aw, I remember that game. Which is maple nut sticky buns, soft pretzel, funnel cake, and cannoli. I don't know why I was having trouble with that label. Must be getting old. Okay, so the maple is really light. I'm not a huge maple person, but the maple is really light. And I'm not smelling the pretzel. But I'm definitely smelling like this, like a sweet sticky bun. Definitely the funnel cake. The cannoli I'm not sure about, but it's really nice. Um, I'm excited to see how that turns out on warm. This one is Guess Who. I'm not sure why my camera is not like focusing today, but it's Guess Who, which is brown sugar blondes, strawberry jam cake, baked apple pie, and a touch of bonfire smoke. Ooh, I like bonfire. Mm, okay, I don't know what it is about this one, but it has come together to make kind of a fakey sweet laundry scent. It smells a little laundry-ish to me. Hmm. I don't know about this one. What do I have to see? So this one is Operation. Oh, I love that game which is glazed churro donuts, birthday cake pops, and kettle corn. Ooh, I bet this one's gonna be really good. Mm, yeah, that one's really nice. I definitely get the glazed churro donuts and a hint of the kettle corn. Birthday cake, well this one says birthday cake pops, but birthday cake in general is kind of a light sweet scent. Or can be. I don't know. Whatever. I really like this one. So yeah, I will have to burn that one because I really like it. Okay. So here we have Mouse Trap. Oh my god, I cannot imagine. Like, I remember trying to put that game together to play it. It was like 20 minutes to put that thing together for like a five second run. It's Cookie Monster Cappuccino and Strudel Bake. Okay, so that is a good blending. I get a hint of the cappuccino. I get a bit of the monster cookie and I definitely get a strudel scent. So it's a really good blended. Yeah, it's a really good blend of the oils. Mm, yeah, it's really nice. Okay. Well, that was the last one out of that. So for my, what was it? So for my $27, I got this. I got all that for $27. That's not bad. I'm pleased with my purchase. I will definitely be ordering from him again. Um, I will be, there's nothing in here that I absolutely hate or dislike. There's just, I have preferences of, oh, this is a little bit better than the other, but this is a really great, order and I feel like it's probably a really good um, representation of a lot of his bakery. This wasn't all his bakery stuff. I think I feel like it's just a pretty decent representation of his bakery stuff for me. Um, which so far all of it is good. Some bakery's good, some bakery's not. His is good. Yeah. 
Alrighty. So again, I purchased all of this with my own money. I am a maker. I am a vendor. But again, I like to buy from other small businesses and small vendors to support them, to support the community. Um, plus, I like to burn wax and I don't burn my own in general. Um, you know, so I have to have some wax to burn. But uh, thank you for watching and I will see you again next time.